The sun is rising over the Red Sea, but these soldiers from the 101st Airborne at Fort Campbell have already been up for hours. By mid-morning, they will have marched 11 miles on blacktop and desert sand in the Sinai Peninsula. They are here as part of the multinational force and observers, an 11-nation effort to verify that neither Israel nor Egypt is violating their 1979 peace treaty. Although about 30% of the soldiers spend three weeks at a stretch in lonely outposts in the jagged mountains and cavernous valleys or wadis of the desert, duty here is not all work and no play. Six months at South Camp on the southern tip of the Sinai Peninsula is tough duty, but the Fort Campbell soldiers get a chance to do some unique things here, like scuba dive in the Red Sea. This morning dive is going to be to uh, 60 feet for 40 minutes. The water temperature is about 78 degrees. The current is running from north to south. Excellent diving. But the nearest place I've been to this would be diving off of Florida. This is excellent diving. You've got the walls, the shelf, sandy bottom, abundance of aquatic life. It's great. There's coral walls, and you've got all kinds of marine life fish. And I've seen a couple of Napoleon Rosses that weighs a couple hundred pounds even. It's just a real big step to go down there. Soldiers stay in shape by playing basketball. There are league games between companies, but the gym is open 24 hours a day for pickup games. This group of 101st officers is up before breakfast for a vigorous game of volleyball. The game is hard fought with no quarter asked or given. But sports are not the only diversion here. The Army sponsors bus trips to nearby recreation areas. These soldiers were up before the sun on a Saturday morning to go to Israel. Well, after getting off the guard duty and uh, out on OT and whatever, it gives you something to look forward to to go out and see the country. And it's definitely a great incentive. Later in their tour, most will get a chance to visit the pyramids of Giza outside Cairo, six hours away. Gosh, oh. You know, it's all you study this all your life, read about in the Bible, and you're actually here and seeing these things. It puts a lot of it puts a lot of it together. So even though this may be remembered as one of the toughest tours of these soldiers' careers, it may also produce special memories, memories that will last a lifetime. Hank Allison, Channel 2 News, in the Sinai.